Hi everyone and welcome to Beauty Budgeting and More with Lizzie and I hope everyone is having a wonderful weekend. Um, today I did promise everybody, my YouTube family and my YouTube friends, a facial masks. So I have two more that I wanted to illustrate today and again it's by Freeman, uh, that's the name of the company. Um, I do not sponsor these videos. I hope you guys know that. I am a very small channel, so how could I, right? <laughs> anyway, so I wanted to, first of all, um, I wanted to share uh, something about seaweed masks. Uh, one of my subscribers did mention that um, seaweed uh, in the UK, they eat seaweed and it's made... Uh, you know it's what bread called lava bread and it's very good for you and thank you so much Maria out there for sharing that tidbit with me um really appreciate that okay so getting to the masks um all right so we will demonstrate today this is the avocado mask with oatmeal and you know oatmeal is very good for you it gives you a lot of moisture well obviously with the name up you know avocado and oatmeal you know that it has moisturizing properties and it's supposed to be very good um, it purifies it moisturizes and it rejuvenates and actually you leave this on for 10 minutes and then wash it off so this is a very good one I actually I mean you can make it at home to the oatmeal masks yourself I remember in my 20s I used to make oatmeal masks so I can't wait to use this little baby. Okay, and finally, I have a very interesting one. And this one is Kale and Dandelion, again by Freeman the Company. And uh, it's a bubbling gel mask, which actually um, purifies, purifies, detoxifies, alkalinizes with the dandelion, I guess. Um, well, I guess it brings your pH levels to the proper standard, I guess, for good skin. Okay, so it does do all that, and it's supposed to illuminate your skin. Also, uh, kale. Oh, you become a green goddess, yes, and it's a juice mask. Wow. So when I juice, I use my kale, I use my spinach, yes, my coconut water. I make a whole concoction of good nutritional uh, stuff that I could absorb internally, you know, because I guess that promotes very good skin outside and it's healthy for you and you have a lot of energy. So actually now, you know, you use this little baby, you become a little green goddess. How wonderful. Well, with that being said, I um, one time bought a coal mask in TJ Maxx and um, it was really interesting. Uh, I laid it on my face my face turned green of course you know you just put it on and it's like a clay mask I had the most horrifying experience when when it was time to take it off my skin looked green okay and I had to go somewhere and I had green skin um so everybody just be careful when you go shopping at any TJ Maxx or Marshalls I am a TJ Maxx uh, person you know I, I kind of go overboard sometimes with TJ Maxx, Ma uh, TJ Maxx. Um, just look at the expiration date on anything really seriously because um, you don't know if you know it's it's gonna be bad for you and makeup has expiration dates you know and also I used to buy a lot of skincare uh, at TJ Maxx and um, I, I really don't anymore it has to be something that captures my attention but I always look at the dates behind the bottles so again beware my friends okay all right so this will be the video for today I will um, actually share another video again I promise you guys things that do work for my skin and things that I, you know, will be repurchasing again. So stay tuned for that one. And I want to say bye to everybody and have a wonderful weekend. Mwah! All right. Hopefully I can say bye appropriately. Okay. I have you. Stop. 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 Stop.